A judge today ordering a halt into the search of digital devices confiscated by the Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton's office into an investigation into illegal vote harvesting. This has been an ongoing story. The former chair of the Bear County Democratic Party, Manuel Medina, is one of the people whose homes was searched. Erica Hernandez was at the hearing and she tells us what happens next. Just two weeks after having his home searched by the Texas Attorney General's office, Manuel Medina appeared in court. Medina says the state didn't have a search warrant to look through the digital devices taken from his home. The search is part of an investigation claiming Medina was recorded discussing a scheme to collect votes for Texas House Democratic candidate Cecilia Castellano, whom he was a former aide to. Castellano had her phone seized as a part of this investigation as well. We're not trying to interfere. We're not trying to stop the investigation. Just just make sure that we protect our privileges and confidentiality. Jerry Goldston, who represents Medina, told Judge Sid Harrell that proper protocols were not followed and that the search warrant was signed for his home not to search his devices. According to a court filing, 65 cell phones and 41 computers were taken. Harrell said the filing was premature and ordered the search of the devices be halted for now. Castellano was in attendance and told us this was all just an attack by Ken Paxton and Governor Greg Abbott. I call it the voter intimidation department. That's what we call it. And we call and we're not going to back down. We're going to keep fighting. So what happens next? Well, unless another judge signs off on the AG's office being able to search those devices or Medina is indicted, nothing really is expected to happen right now. So we will continue to follow this investigation and see how it evolves. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News. We reached out to the 81st District Attorney Audrey Gossett Lewis. She represents Frio County in this case. Lewis tells us she is pleased the court agreed with their motion and says that order was indeed premature.